welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at word problems that involve discount, tax, tip, and markup. So let's go ahead and take a look at example A. So here we are at example A and it says Target buys DVDs from their suppliers for $5 each. The store sells them at a 60% markup. What is the selling price? So I'm going to use a proportion to solve all of the problems that we're talking about today. There is another way to do it. You could multiply by the decimal if you'd like, but I find the proportion to be easiest. So that's what I'm going to be using today. So first of all, we need to talk about the original amount, which is $5 for the DVDs, and that's going to be 100% of the price. So anytime that you have the original amount, that's going to be 100% of the thing that you are buying. On the other side, I'm going to have my markup, and my markup is going to be 60%. So notice that I have my two percents across from each other. So I have my 100% on the bottom, and I have my 60% on the bottom. So since my percentages are across from each other, my money is going to be on the top. So my $5 on one side, and I don't know the amount of money on the other side for the markup. So that's going to be my X. Now that I have that all laid out, I'm going to cross multiply. 100 times X is going to be 100X. 5 times 60 is going to be 300. And then I'm going to draw my wall, divide both sides by 100. 100 divided by 100 is 1. They're going to cancel out, or 1x. And 300 divided by 100 is 3. And this is a word problem, so I need a word answer of $3. Now let me make sure if that is what my question is asking me for. Did I find the markup? But the question is asking, what is the selling price? So I need to take my number that I got, $3, plus the original amount to find the selling price. So 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. So they are selling the DVDs for $8, and that is my final price. Now let's take a look at example B. So here we are at example B, and it says Raina buys a birthday present for Amna. She finds a purse that is originally $40 and a pair of socks that is $6.50. But the entire store is having a sale for 60% off. So we need to first find the original amount, and we know that that's going to be 100% of our total price. We know the problem told us that we have a 60% off for our discount, so that's going to be the bottom. Again, I've got my percentages on the bottom, so 100% and 60%. So now I need my money. But there's an issue here. I'm buying two things at the store. I'm not. Raina is. She's buying $42 purse and a $6.50 pair of socks. Now, when you go to the store, you're not going to buy one thing, get the discount, then go put it in your car, come back inside and buy the next thing. You're going to take all of them to the register at once, and they're going to add them together. So we need to add our $42 and our $6.50. And when I do that, I get $48.50. And again, that's the 100%. That is the cost of everything that I'm buying. Now I need to figure out what my discount is. I don't know that, so that's going to be my X. Now I need to cross multiply, so I'm going to do 100 times x, and I'm going to do 60 times 4850. 100 times x is 100x. 4850 times 60 is 2,910. So now I've got my one-step equation, so I'm going to draw my wall. Divide both sides by 100. 100 divided by 100 is going to cancel and give me 1 or 1x. 29.10 divided by 100 is $29.10. Remember, this is a word problem, so I need to have a word answer. So I've got my dollar sign there. Let's make sure that I've answered the question it asked me. So it asked, how much is the discount? So I'm not going to do any subtraction here. I'm not going to do adding here because it only wants to know what the discount is, which is what I found of $29.10. Now let's take a look at example C. Here we are at example C, and it says Jonathan buys a new skateboard for $70. It is discounted at 20% off, but he must pay tax of 6.5%. So again, this one appears to have two parts to it. First, we've got to figure out the discount of 20%, and then he has to pay a 6.5% sales tax. So we're going to be needing to do more than one proportion to solve this type of problem. So he's buying a new skateboard at $70, and that's going to be 100% the cost of the skateboard. We know our discount is 20%, and as we've learned before, our percents go on the bottom, our money goes on top. We don't know what the percent of this discount is, or we don't know what the money is for this discount. So now we're going to cross multiply. We're going to do 100 times x and 20 times 70. 100 times x is 100x. 20 times 70 is going to be 1400. 
we're going to draw our wall, divide both sides by 100, and we're going to get that x equals 14. So 14 is the amount of the discount, but that's not how much the skateboard costs now. That's how much money we're getting off. So we need to do 70 minus 14 to figure out how much money the skateboard still cost us. So 70 minus 14 is going to be $56. So that's how much the skateboard cost after we found the discount. So that's going to be our new amount, $56. We've already found the discount, so now let's find the tax. $56 is now 100% of the cost because, again, we've taken the money off for the discount, but we have to pay taxes when we buy things from stores. So our tax in this particular case is going to be 6.5%. We need to make sure that we put that in as a decimal, just like I see it on the problem, 6.5, because I am putting it in a proportion. If I was going to multiply by the decimal, I'd have to turn my percent to a decimal just like I would anywhere else. But since I'm putting it in a proportion, I'm just going to leave it as the number it is. I don't know how much tax that is, so that's going to be my x. Now it's time to cross multiply. So we've got 100 times x. That's going to be 100x. We have to do 56 times 6.5 on the other side. When we do that, we get 364. So now we've got a one-step equation, so we can solve that. We're going to draw our wall, divide both sides by 100. 100 and 100 are going to cancel to leave x. 364 divided by 100 is going to be 3.64. So that's how much money we have to pay in tax. But that is not the cost of the skateboard, $3.60. That would be a really nice skateboard that we tried to get for $70. But we need to take our $56 that we have for the original amount after the discount plus the $3.64 because we are now paying tax and tax is in addition to the thing that we are buying. And we end up getting $59.64. This is the final cost of the skateboard after we've done all our work. That brings us to the end of this problem and the end of this video. If you like this video, go ahead and throw us a thumbs up. If you love this video, go ahead and throw us a sub, and we will catch you in the next one. Yeah.